A roller coaster day for the White Clay Beer Stores. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Two big decisions came down today. Yeah, the first came from a judge this morning, and then the second this afternoon from the Attorney General. Channel 8's Brent Von Fleur breaks it all down for us in tonight's top story. Brent? Yeah, Rod, Megan, it's all a little confusing, but as you said, in the morning, a judge ruled the stores could continue selling alcohol, but this afternoon, the Attorney General said, not so fast. It's a day of mixed decisions regarding the four liquor stores in White Clay, Nebraska. Earlier this month, the Nebraska Liquor Control Commission denied their request to renew their licenses. The stores, which annually sell millions of cans of beer, mostly to residents of the nearby Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, appealed that decision and asked a judge to allow them to continue selling alcohol during the process. Thursday morning, the judge ruled not only could they continue to sell, but he reversed the Liquor Commission's decision and said the stores could also renew their licenses. The attorney who represents the store owners says the courts got it right. The commission greatly overstepped its bounds and in so doing just completely ignored statutes and case law and just did it solely based on the whims of the public. But this afternoon, it was a different story. The Attorney General's office appealed the judge's decision, which, by law, essentially nullifies it. That means at the end of the month, when the liquor store's licenses expire, they will no longer be able to sell alcohol. So what's next? David Domina represents a group opposed to the stores staying open. He says a typical case would move to an appeals court, which would then review the district court's ruling and do one of three things. Agree with it, reverse it, or send it back to the lower court with instructions on how to try the case differently. The issue now will be can the store owners get a stay of the Liquor Commission order from the Court of Appeals or the Supreme Court, um, not having obtained one in the district court. And I think the answer to that probably will be that because they are a higher court, they have the authority to grant one. And to recap, after this Sunday, the stores will no longer be able to sell alcohol. But, Rod, Megan, it is likely this case will move from the Court of Appeals, where it's headed now, to the Supreme Court before a final decision is made. And who knows when that might happen. Right. We'll keep people updated. Brent Bonfleur with our top story. Thank